hey guys finally we have the android one device so i waited for that device for more than two, i guess two and a half year so i was not sure why what's the reason but that's the smart move you know the killing the nexus brand and making the pixels brand so that makes sense so you can uh, take it as a sort of a low budget nexus device you know i will explain you guys a little in detail so this is your android me even technically it's the same as a me 5x it's just running the you know the closest stock android and it will be getting update from the google and the guarantee two years of upgrade so there it is this is your dual camera device i guess it's a 12 megapixel dual camera pure android fresh os upgrade snapdragon 625 it's uh, 2.0 gigahertz it's uh, octa core and 13.9 simple 5.5 inch full hd display this is not amoled i believe and you've got the dual sim lte here this is a uh, 5 megapixel front facing camera qualcomm and all the cool stuff battery you got uh, 3080 milliamps battery and here you have some branding and this is 4 gigabyte 64 gigabyte storage model so let's jump in the device and see what we have here you got further see no this is your me a1 switch to here and you got some seals here do not accept if it is broken me a1 nice packaging standard me boxes what you get nothing in terms of google you know they just have to provide software so this is your device itself volume button power button wow looks very lightweight reminds to me of oneplus 5 you just have a camera here and there and the standard redmi note 3 style fingerprint sensor back side let's peel this up so this is your me branding that you will get right here so this is certainly not good you're going to get this android one stuff that looks nice i guess company needs to remove this fcc labeling and all the cool stuff so this is your front camera and your sensors they did not mention what kind of gorilla glass coating they have they just have gorilla glass coating i guess they haven't mentioned what is that all about so let's go inside the box and see what we are going to get there so this is your standard tough box oh steam ejector tool pretty nice one anyways there it is this is your Asian charger some paperwork home button USB type C port and yeah this device does have the USB C port menu button back button so that will run pretty much same pixel launcher experience so that I have to check actually really what it has inside some kind of obstruction behind that so this is your cable and nothing else so this is your charger what it says And you have the your micro USB A to the Type C cable, the old stuff that you have. So this is all the goodness we have. Now let's take a closer look on the device itself. So this is your uh, Type C speaker, your noise cancellation mic should be here. This is your this headphone jack. There it is. This is your SIM card. So here it is. Once you go inside. So this is your hybrid SIM. You can see. It's gonna take either two sim cards or you can have one sd card and one sim card so good thing for markets like in india and this side you have just only sim stuff from top side i guess they have the ir blaster in it and this is your nice and this is your microphone so this is a fingerprint sensor it's a pretty nice uh, you know a size perfectly repaired in case you have hands like me you can easily have on the you can see i can easily touch it here so guys let's boot in and see so time to set up the finger let's see how much time does it take so point in the back location back location so three times four times five six seven eight times so this thing is going to run the android nougat 7.1.2 with a guaranteed software update so you can see we have the latest uh, system update available so i'm quickly going to cancel it so first quickly go inside thing this setting Oh man, that looks completely clean. There is nothing here. That's too impressive. And brightness looks to me a little bit off on the bluish side. So completely stock Android. Android Nougat 7.1.2 with the August 1 security patch level. And you've already caught the September patch level. I believe uh, that is uh, September patch level should be. And here it is going back. Let's check out the storage. So this is your storage. And uh, you can see. 8.32 gigabytes is consumed out of uh, 58.24 that means uh, 
uh, you, somewhere near to 6 gigabyte uh, 5.6 gigabyte has taken and you can see uh, you're not going to get completely uh, you know 4 gigabytes of ram it's just near to 3.5 gigabytes of storage and already 1.2 gigabytes is consumed so nothing i have done so let's take a look on the hardware of the phone using the cpu x application so it is octa core 2.02 gigahertz qualcomm 625 right here you can see there are total number of eight cores and it is shown here so they are even the clock at two but they all are averaged to 1.69 3.51 gigabytes of ram and free somewhere near to 1.56 gigabytes and it does have some of the features like you know same just swipe to gestures feature that you can get in pixel phones so since it's Google made phone, so you have such options, you can just swipe down to enable the notification, swipe up to toggle it so you can quickly use it that way. Alright guys, it's time to compare the display. So I just have some few sizes and just thought to give you guys a quick comparison between the sizes and also along the display technology since this is the only phone in front of you which has the IPS LCD panel. And right here you can see this is the 6 inch display and this one here is the Galaxy S8 5.8 inch display. This is your 5.7 inch display. I'm just aligning them on the bottom. So this is your Pixel 5.5 inch. This is another one plus five. And this is your 5.5 inch display. So you guys can compare. So let me show you quickly from here to here. So I have set them both on the maximum brightness. Right here you can see. So this is your uh, Mi A1 versus the 6 inch display. AMOLED versus IPS LCD you can see. All of them I guess they are showing a proper a dull color because blacks are more black on the AMOLED and you can see this is a little bit of washed out so comparing with the same 5.5 inch display this is your OnePlus 5 which has an AMOLED panel and this is your Mi A1 so just compare how much difference it looks like so if you're worried about the display quality so probably this will give you a better idea should we go with the AMOLED panel so you should be going with this phone and there it is this is your Galaxy the best display available in the market so compare the sharpness that the Galaxy gives and it is again set to the Full HD Plus display not on the Quad HD display. This is on the Full HD Plus display. So image again looks pretty sharp. You can just see the you know flag color. How does it looks like? I mean I, I think the phone camera won't show you that much details but uh, here it is. This is you can just you can see the inky black color, the red color looks like. And give you guys some size comparison how much this, this phone has its thickness. I'm going to remove this case first from this case and this is the slimmest uh, the mid-range phone that you can get in the market and uh, this is your 5.5 7.25mm thickness compared to this you can see so this is your comparing of the size and the overall thickness so pretty much same design you can see you got the same dual camera setup right you have just LED placement is different Fingerprint location is slightly different and the antenna band design are pretty much same but uh, this is a slightly more black side and this is not on that black side on the front side you can see this is your how it looks like so except the fingerprint sensor they look very identical you can see looks super sharp on the other side let's talk about some camera a little bit i will be covering guys all the features in detail video very soon so i'm just going to start from now so this is not the google camera but you do have optical zoom 2.x so this is one this is 2x so that's how it looks like and let's see and i'm going to show you guys this thing whether uh, this thing is truly natural or not because i can see the plant in front of me so it is showing you a slightly extra color it is not that green the plant is it is showing you some extra colors and see how much macro shot do we can take so there it is this is the parker let's see how further we can focus so i need to do a tap to focus then i can read it this is the max i can take so this is your photo this is the second this is the 2x zoom this is the normal so you don't have all the google camera installed because this is a me ui to eat camera due to 2x feature they have to optimize a slightly bit of them and they don't have this uh, but they still have this hdr feature you can turn them on no auto hdr plus this is simple hdr you can turn on and off flash option is here auto off and on so stay tuned to the channel for more uh, camera coverage i'll be showing guys comparison with the best camera phones that are available now talking about the note 8 in the iphone x the galaxies and the pixel obviously 
Let's talk about the launcher that is running here. So uh, this is not exactly the 100% pixel launcher that you will get here, but you have all the features like you know the quick app shortcut since this is Android Oreo. So you have some different widget option. So let's try on the camera. So camera I guess is not supporting as of now since this is not Google camera so they don't have such options. And here you can see you have this Google messaging services here and photos trying on the photos. So it shows I'm feeling lucky some Google search getting inside let's try some of the application setting so it does have the same right here you can see battery usage wlan and when it will get the android Oreo, obviously you're going to get some extra features like you know that notification dots feature and all the cool stuff but you do have the google now swipe feature and going inside the setting so since this is pixel launcher you have this all android Oreo features you can change the shape but i'm sure you're going to get this feature very soon when this uh, device is going to get android Oreo. since this is stock android so you'll have such features too now let's talk about the fingerprint sensor how fast it is so just take a look here just take a look on this table all right three two one so there is a slight delay three two one so now take a look from here three two one three two one so overall it's okay now let's compare it with the one plus five so this is one of the fastest fingerprint sensor that i have used on any other android device and galaxy s8 fingerprint sensor is also okay let's try with the google pixel because it's a kind of very slow but it's a very very costly device still three two one so i can see a milliseconds difference here so let's try with the one plus five three two one so obviously you can see this is one of the fastest fingerprint sensor three two one so you can see it uh, first here so let's try with other hand three two one so you can see let's take slight delay three two one so on the final uh, it is a very great here i mean it's, i don't see any delay it's okay so you just unlock quickly and quick benchmarking scores in case you are interested to know so this is the key benchmark score single core score is not quite high i'm not sure why because the clock rate is not too much great but typo score is great so this is the score i am getting on the snapdragon 821 and 820 processors near to the same 4000 score and just talk about the uh, entry so this is not a great number so if you guys notice carefully what i'm seeing here there is a slight frame drops you know the 3d rendering is not as great you know maybe the gpu is not quite high once you already ran it you can say that and uh, even though it's a stock and ride i was hoping something to be quite better you can see this side here the flowers and trees they are not moving as fast i was getting on the older processor you know but still this is what I felt, but I will show you guys a real gaming test review, you know, maybe running the high games, whether we have any frame drops or not. So guys, there you have it. This is your me even unboxing and a quick review. So let me know in the comments what things do you want to show, especially I will be showing you a gaming comparison, gaming review also, and software tour, what is the difference comparing the stock and right pixel phones and the Nexus phones. You know, uh, if you really want to consider get a close Google stock and right phones and you want to do due to budget constraint you want to go to the android one so whether it is really good for you or not and obviously you know, the battery performance other quality LTE band network check so guys thank you for watching this is your me even on the black color this is sort of i'll talk to you very soon have a great day